Hello everyone. I'm uh, going to make a little video here about uh, suicide by concrete. Uh, there was an article in the news this morning about um, a lady that was found in Australia, in Queensland, and uh, she was uh, found uh, in a concrete wall. Um, and that led me to thinking about, uh, is it possible to uh, commit suicide uh, by concrete? And there have been many cases where, uh, I shouldn't say many, there's been a few cases uh, where people have uh, jumped into uh or fell into uh, concrete uh, dams that were being poured. And uh, when these dams are being poured, you have uh, lots of concrete trucks with like six, well, with like 11 or 12 uh, cubic yards of concrete being poured into the dam at once. I mean, uh, these dams are tremendous. And then you have workers who are working on the edge of the uh, scaffolding where the concrete is being poured down into the uh, the dam wall and uh, there have been workers who have fallen into the concrete now who knows um, I mean some of those uh, workers could have been uh, disgruntled uh, disgruntled and they could have uh, you know, had a fight with the girlfriend or the wife or things in their life may not have been going um, according to uh, the way they planned. They could have had some financial problems, uh, whatever. But uh, they may not, uh, some of those may not have fallen into the concrete. They may have uh, actually jumped into the concrete. Uh, who knows? Um, but I was thinking, you know, that would be really a, a quick way to go if one was so inclined uh, to commit suicide. Um, but it would be very difficult because you'd have to go where there was a huge uh, lot of concrete being poured into a, a like a, a dam being built or a some bridge uh, pylons being built and some of these bridges are huge structures and they have huge concrete uh, uh, bases being uh, uh, poured for the so the bridge can sit on those things and be stable so I mean it is possible you know one could jump head first into that uh, liquid concrete uh, if there was being a lot being poured and I wanted to tell you if you did that you'd probably <clears throat> once you hit the concrete or once you went down in there uh, <clears throat> you'd probably die really really quickly and uh, never be able to escape so I mean it would be really a quick way to go but it would be very difficult to find uh, a place, uh, a way that you could do that. And could you actually, um, could you actually do it yourself uh, by pouring your own concrete? And I don't think that there's uh, possibly a way to do it. I mean, there could be, I mean, you could order uh, a, a load of concrete like, um, uh, 11 or 12 cubic yards by a concrete truck and you could tell the concrete driver to whenever he got there to just go ahead and pour it that you're not going to be there and you could have some people that were that you had hired to show up at a particular time to level out the concrete like on a concrete slab and uh, you could actually get down underneath the, the concrete slab and uh, go to sleep and then you'd never wake up. So, I mean, you could do it yourself. Um, 
Uh, and I mean, uh, once that concrete started being poured on top, directly on top of you, <coughs> I'm not sure that you would wake up. You could take some, take a bunch of sleeping pills and, uh, you definitely wouldn't wake up. Um, even though the, the sleeping pills that you took would be not enough to kill you. I mean, you, it, it is possible that you could do that yourself um, or the, that you could arrange for it to be done and no one would really know. So uh, suicide by concrete, yes, uh, it's possible. Um, however, uh, very, very difficult to pull off. I mean, uh, there are a lot quicker ways, but uh, that news article got me to thinking about could that have been suicide by concrete? And reading on down into the uh, the, the reading on down into the article, the police uh, discovered that uh, this lady was probably killed like uh, twelve years earlier, and that she was wrapped uh, tightly wrapped in. Uh, uh, tightly wrapped in clothing and bedding. So, I mean, she, there's no way she could have done that herself uh, and then have somebody pour the concrete down on top of her and so forth. Um, so I don't think that that was suicide by concrete. I think there was some foul play there involved. Um Police say she was killed. There, were, there were no other details were given, um, like injuries to the body or, or cracked bones or cracked skull or anything like that. So, I personally, after reading the article, I don't believe that that was suicide by concrete. But um, I believe that suicide by concrete is definitely possible. Anyway, uh, that's my comments regarding that news article. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting, got me to thinking. So anyway, if you like my uh, commentaries here, and I'm going to be doing a lot of these commentaries on various news articles. I've already done some, but I'm going to be doing a lot more. Uh, just uh, please hit that subscribe button. And then when I put a new video up, you'll be notified. Anyway, thanks a lot, and you folks have a nice day.